In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to add text to your game in Blender uh, using some properties and a plane. We're going to uh, take that a little step further today. Uh, I had a request from you there, VMK. This is his YouTube site here. He's working on a uh, Ghostbusters game uh, that seems to be coming along very well. Um, and here's his screen name here. You there, VMK. And he asked me, how can you get a user input and display it on the screen in a Blender game? I did not know the answer, and before I could find it, he responded by uh, pointing out a tutorial to me um, by a gentleman named Ponage Play on YouTube. He had a video on how to uh, do this. I watched his tutorial. Um, and decide to do one of my own. So it's real simple. This is where we were last time. If you haven't gotten this far, watch the previous video. Um, but we have a plane here. Uh, this is the texture here. We have uh, zeroed in the texture for the plane onto this first character here at the at symbol. And we create a property called text and it's a string and anything we type into that string uh, should be displayed in the game here. There we go. But for right now, we're going to clear out that, and we're going to add another property. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to leave it as prop. That's the default. And I'm going to change it to a balloon A. Uh, so that's B. Sorry, I didn't zoom in quite right there. B-O-O-L uh, under that option there instead of string or any other format. And as I said, you can name it whatever you want. By default, it's called prop. And we're going to change that to true instead of false. All we have to do now is add another sensor, make it a keyboard, and we're going to set the target as text with a capital T. And the log trigger is prop, since that's what our other property is. Now, if we start the game, anytime we start typing, you can see it changing on the screen. You can backspace over stuff. So that is how you can get a user input and display it on the screen in your Blender game. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you once again, uh, Ponage Play, and hey, uh, sorry, I forgot your screen name already. Uh, you there, VMK. Uh, check out his site, uh, his YouTube site at youtube.com forward slash user forward slash you there, VMK, and check out the uh, trailers he has for the uh, uh, Ghostbusters uh, program he's working on. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit Films by Chris for more video tutorials like this. The link is in the description. Have a great day.